Hello everyone, this is Night Strider here and today welcome to a tutorial video and today I'll be showing you how to install AI traffic and real world airlines into prepared version 4 and any other version of FSX and prepared. So the first, so let's get right into it. And I will mention this is freeware, none of this costs money, but I recommend setting like an after soon as an afternoon aside to do this. But yeah, let's get right into it. So the first thing you want to do is launch a browser. I've just got Firefox and you want to go to this website. slai.bvrtc.com And I'll have that in the description below. So you want to go to this website and you want to come down and click on download. So it'll launch you on this page. You want to click download. And then this will download a massive file with everything in it. You can do this, but it takes a long time to copy all the files over into the prepared into the folder. So I recommend using the Operations Center, which is a Mac, an automatic installer, to do it. This. So you just want to click Download. It's going to open your tab. You want to read through this, and you'll see if the word Launch underlined. Click that. It'll save the file. And that's the app. So you can open it, click OK, it's just going to run, click Yes, and it's going to open up. So once you want to do, if it doesn't bring out any pop-ups, you want to click Settings, and then here you can choose what simulator you have. So this is for all versions of FSX and all versions of prepared up to version 3. This is prepared version 4, and then this is for prepared version 4 with dynamic lighting. Not all aircraft will have dynamic lighting, only the ones that can enable it or, and can harness it. But depending on what you want, I recommend if you have a good system, use with dynamic lighting. If you don't, or a mediocre system, just use this one. But then you want to click change here and then select your install, select the root folder of prepared. So for me that's P3D new folder, you just want to click on that, you want to click OK, just going to click that, click save, and then click this button here, it might be different, for me it says update, it might say start installation or something like that, click this one, and it'll start doing, in downloading, installing all the files for you. Once it's done, click exit, and make sure you read everything on this part, and all the pop-ups and stuff, it will take around, for me to around half an hour. It really just depends on your internet connection. But yeah. Once you've done that, click exit. And once you're doing it's installing, you want to then go to this website, alpha india.net slash AIG files slash files slash flight plans slash summer underscore 2018. And this has all the flight plans that you will need for all your airlines, or pretty much all of them. If you're viewing this in like after 2018, you want to after 2018, you want to click or you want airlines and stuff in flight plans before 2018 summer 2018. You want to click parent directory, and then it will have like all the different ones. So we've got summer 2017, 16. We've got all the winter ones. But you for now oh, in 2018, you want to click summer 2018. And then on here, you have all your airlines. So let's, um, for this example, I will be using, let me just scroll through. Um, I will do, just give me a sec to find one. Um, okay, for this one, I'm going to do Lufthansa Cargo. And if we have a look, we'll see two. One that says, Looked on the cargo summer 2018 FSP v3.zip and the other will say AIG Lufthansa Cargo. They both say AIG Lufthansa Cargo summer 2018 TFS v3.zip. Make sure that you click the one that's TFS. It will be most likely the second one. You make sure you click this because these use these are freeware software and these run better. If the whereas these ones run and require proper payware. 
the aircraft that FLAI is downloading for us. Let's click that. Oh, put the window, click save file, OK, no download. And you just want to do that with all the airlines that you want, so you scroll through here. And yeah. Also, if they don't have a TFS or any different ver from versions, just click it and it'll be fine. There'll be the three for one. And the last thing you'll need for this tutorial is AIFP. So you just go to Google and search in AIFP like that, or AIFP download. And it'll be the first one, stuff for FS AI flight planner stuff for FS.com. Click it. This is made by the same people who made these flight these flight plans. And you just want to scroll down to the bottom. And then it'll say the current release. It would say down here the current release of AI flight planner is like version three like whatever means three point one two three point two point one five D. Just click that and it's gonna load and download. Same thing again. I've already got it installed, so now I will hop over and make sure you, and I'll start the tutorial. And we can start installing all the flight plans. Alright, so once you have downloaded everything, I'm just gonna open up go to your the folder where you have um AIP installed and you wanna unzip it, it'll be in a zip file, unzip it. You want to right click and make sure you run it as an administrator. So load it, click run as administrator. Yes, it, it will launch. I think it's just being a bit slow. And now you'll have this window. And now all you have to do, this is where it gets a bit complicated and repetitive, but this is where we now compile all the flight plans into the airlines for AI. So the first thing you want to do is click target version and you'll have whatever flight simulators installed will show up. For me I have FS2004, FX team and prepared version 4. Make sure you click prepared version 4 so that it targets prepared version 4. And what we want to do now is click files, files, open traffic.bgl. You make sure you click this one. That's going to open up. And then you want to go to where to the folder where you downloaded all the zip files for the flight for the flight planner. So all the flight plans. And it'll be looking for big chill so they won't show up. So you want to click here and click all files. Now they'll show up. So now if we look through this is look comes cargo v3.zip. You don't want to make sure you don't extract these. You want to use the non extracted the ones still in the zip file, click open, and trust me, you want to use the zip file ones because they save you so much time. And now what you're going to see, you'll see all of these, so these are all the flight plans and stuff, these are all the airlines that go, that the airline flies to, you'll have the aircraft lift, these will all be in red, so you want to left click twice, so double click on these, and left click, and it will bring up this window, and I'm going to put this like this. And what you'll do, you can see that what you want to do now, and this is where the AI models that you downloaded with, from FL AI come into play. What you want to do now is don't double click on those. You want to click, come down to the bottom of the window and click substitute. It's going to scan all the installed aircraft in prepared V4, whatever sim you're using, and it's going to bring up a window like this and this is just a quick disclaimer in the video I forgot to click select UI aircraft so if you have a look in the page there's a little there's a bit that says include colon and it has non UI tick make sure you click the box that says UI these will be all the AI all the aircraft that you have that work with this that will work for the same airline. So these are FLAI, you can see they have the ad. And you want to read here, so here it says Lufthansa, because I'm doing Lufthansa Cargo. This is a 777-200F. So I'll oh, click this one, and then click you selected. And then you do that. 
it doesn't matter if they don't exactly match or anything, it'll still work. Because all you're doing is replacing the current directory for the current airlines that it think it's trying to look for with the ones that you have installed. So you want to do this, and you want to then give you the use selected. So now I'm doing the MD11, and you can use the same ones multiple times, it doesn't matter. And once you've done that, so this might take a while depending on the airlines that you're using because they might have lots of different fleets. And I'll show diff if you skip to, I'll show it doing a really complex airline with lots of things of different aircraft. So then, when you want to do is come here, select, select compile compare parameters, and make sure you come up here, make sure it's prepared version 4. You can tick this if you want, you don't have to, I reckon, I normally do just to make sure. So just tick that, prepared v4, click save to prepared v4 scenery world scenery, so you click there, so you click that, so that goes straight out, click continue, make sure that's still the right version, and click compile. Click a window it might show up, just click uniform, and then adjust, and it's going to say compile, so Successful. Now, if we go to the scenery world scenery folder where AI traffic file deals need to be, we have a look for it. It'll go through here. There's a, it is. So it's really simple, and you just have to repeat that. Now, I'll show you. Do, I'll show you what a really complex one looks like, and just how easy it is. So let's go to let's say. Um, I will now let's do one. Now the airlines, so they have a really diverse fleet. So you can see they're really diverse. Same thing, double click on this, substitute, it'll fill up the list for you. And yeah. So it's going to fill out that and just do the same thing. So I'm just going to rush go quickly through this, so you can look through, and it doesn't matter if they don't exactly match up, like here apparently there's no dash 300 showing up, so you, I see these ones, which are 300 normally, and then 200 ERs, so obviously you see, you know, it, they all still work, it's just substituting the airline, the aircraft to different ones, and then 787s, Seven dash nine, seven eight, seven dash eight, seven six seven, which doesn't show up for some reason. Oh no, it does. I'm just blind. I want three hundred, and then seven five seven. You know, it's really easy to do this. Doesn't take that long. The first time I did this, it took me a while. And then if it's a max, these use the codes of the aircraft. So if it's like a max variant of 737 max 9, like it's here, it will be B39M, and that stands for Boeing 737-900 max, and it's just like this, it's just like that, and then, yeah, it's really easy to do, it doesn't, this took me about one afternoon to do all my and then, yeah, all right, so now I'm gonna pause. I'm gonna go jump into the sim. I yeah, I'm gonna jump into the sim, and I will show you what it looks like once you've all installed. All right, guys. So we have now loaded in to prepare. I'm currently at Frankfurt, so because I that's where I installed. I installed Lufthansa Cargo, so. If we have a look around, you can see, I don't, so we can see Lufthansa, so, yeah, obviously, because it's Germany, and these are all AI aircraft from that same process, you've, Ryanair, Turkish Airlines, all different ones, there's, sem, there's like, the new, even the 747-8 intercontinental, international, in this sim now, like with the new livery and stuff. So yeah, as you can see, this is definitely working. So if I'm, I'm currently in FJ22. I don't know why what I am, but yeah. So 
I'm just gonna do a bit of this and so you guys can see. We've got Lufthansa, an A380, 747 8 in the old livery. Yeah, so as you can see, this does work. Like you can see all of these in the new liveries and stuff. This does work. And yeah, but yeah. If you have any problems, go down. That's the United that I installed. And yeah, Swiss, more Lufthansa, Delta. All right, I'm gonna end this video here. Thank you for watching, guys. I hope you found this really helpful. I know there's been a lot of debates about how to install, oh, like prepared traffic and get good AI traffic for free and stuff without spending ridiculous amounts of money on aircraft add-ons. These will stay, these don't up, like you have to manually up, up to date them, but it doesn't take too long to do this. Like this only took me about an hour. To ins I installed a lot of different airlines and that probably took me about half an hour to an hour, excluding download times for the AI models. Thank you for watching this video. If you found this helpful, consider like no, like the video and consider subscribing. Thank you for watching this video everyone. If you have any problems I will help I will be happy to help down in the description. All the links will be in the video description and if you need any help go to the comments. But thank you for watching this video. I've been Nice Goodbye everybody.